All right, the next game is a visual novel, so at least it should be easier to work with. <laughs> the Tale of the Sh Devilish Shrine Maiden. Not enough time to reskin the menu editions. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let us continue. Preferences. How does this work? Okay, that's just the options. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, start. Long ago, in a far away land known as Gensokyo, where humans and yokai live in delicate harmony, there lived a shrine maiden named Reimu Hak Hakurei Reimu. So it looks like it's done in a old Japanese art style from what I can tell, which would make sense given the theme of the game. Uh, fuck. Wait, okay, I think I just press cl Okay. <sighs> Give me a second. Ooh. All right. It was her duty to protect the uh, protect the balance of the world, and for this she had been granted great power. But Hakurei, Hakurei, whatever, Raymond was feared by both humans and yokai throughout the land, for she would often find trouble wherever she went. One day, Raymu encountered a troubled dragon turtle on the shore of the misty lake. Please, Miss Sh Shrine Maiden, I have been cruelly flipped upon my back by a pack of rambunctious fairies. I humbly request your assistance. And why should I help one as such as you? I'm a shrine maiden who protects humans. You are not human and the creature beneath my concern. But but it would be such a small thing, since it's such a small thing in this case, won't you make an exception? And look here, how thin I am. I must eat, and I do not work free. If I help him to help you, then what is it? What is it is what is to be my payment. I'm merely a turtle, as you see. I have no riches and no way repay to repay this act of kindness. Such an act would have to be taken selfishly. No reward? If that is the case, I'm not interested. I shall leave you uh, leave you right where you are. Please wait. There might be something I can do. I know of the way to the dragon palace beneath the waves. I can show you the way. The dragon palace, home to the dragon god of the sea. Raymu had heard of this place. But here in Gensokyo, surely the legendary palace of the sea, uh, of the sea king, would not reside beneath the misty lake. It's not under the lake here, is it? I shall not reveal its location until you help me to my feet. But were I to take you there, the dragon god who resides there would surely be most grateful to you by for helping me, and would reward you a stupe stupendously. There is no sound, which I just realized, but I guess given the time they couldn't really change the fucking menu, I think I'll give them some slack. It seemed unlikely that the turtle would be telling the truth, that, that the misty lake, large though it was, could be hiding a palace. But if it was, the dragon pa if the dragon palace could be accessed from Gensokyo, I would become I could become very rich, thought Reimu. I shall very much like to go to the palace. Then at once, help me uh, and we can go together. It's under the lake, is it? Isn't it? It isn't. I mean, perhaps it is. I mean, I should not reveal this information to you yet. Wait, where are you going? Help, please help me. Let's save, I guess. Let's just help the motherfucker. I don't feel like it. What, what's the fucking What's the fucking point then? Why give us an option? Unless there's a Unless there's a point to the story. You are a worthless turtle to have gotten yourself stuck like this. To depend on such a turtle would be unthinkable. I will find this palace on my own. What a heartless shrine maiden. The dragon god will surely not allow her entry to the palace with such an attitude. And so, Raven set off to find the dragon palace. Thinking to herself, it is only a leg and cannot be very hard to search. She felt confident that the turtle would only have slowed her down. It was at this moment that a monstrous beast appeared from beneath the below the waves. What fresh wickedness is this? It had scales like a fish, but it was not a fish, for where its face would be was a grotesque visage of a woman, face contorted in an expression of anger or bewilderment. By the gods, what is it? It had scales like a fish, but it was not a fish, for where it, Oh, I, I thought we just said that already. Yeah, we said that already. I must have pressed back by accident. Then the beast spoke, a guttural grope. Hello, fretful human fish. Foul and disgusting and rancid atrocities. Wow, that's a lot of big fancy words for Raymond. Please do not say such a thing. Although I have the appearance of a fish, I am still harmed by such words. I shall give you three seconds to depart from my sight. I hear that the flesh of the Ningyo can grant immortality once consumed. 
I'm not for eating. Two. I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. One. I'm leaving, I'm going right now. Motherfucker. <laughs> Bestow divine condem <laughs> condemnation upon the wretch. I don't know, the way it phrases out so funny. It, it really does. It's it's pretty funny. You're weird and gross, you know. Just stay away from me in the future. Uh, okay. Night was beginning to set in as uh, Reimu continued to search for the dragon palace beneath the misty lake. Then, just as it was starting to get dark, she spotted a light under the water. This glow beneath the waves, this must be from the dragon palace, for I hear it has many powerful magical jewels. They will soon be mine. Night was beginning to set in as a in as Hawk, I mean Raymu continued to search for the dragon palace beneath the misty lake. Then, just as it was starting to get dark, she spotted a light under the water. But the green shrine man, who thought only of the precious stones and gold she might find below, did not notice the new threat now looming be before her. Could this be the myth? Could this be the mythical Umi Buzu, the terrible sea priest that is known to wreck unwary ships? If so, then it would surely strike Haku, I mean, Reimu down with the force of a tidal wave. Could this... Oh, don't say anything. And yet the creature does nothing. Could it be waiting for its prey to approach? I see you now, Shadow. Could you be the guardian of this place? Would you two attempt to come between me and my treasure? No, I recognize those horns. You are no spirit. You are Ibiki Suika, who, comes to my, who, come, who often comes to my shrine uninvited. Well, you shall not come... You should not come on this quest with me, as I will not share the spoils of the Dragon Palace with one such as you. You are going to the Dragon Palace? Then please, will you bring me some of the sake that is kept there? If it is well mean that you will leave me alone, perhaps I could do this. Well, it is troublesome. Motherfucker, what's the point? I, will, I won't bring you sake. I don't feel like it. It's missing an apostrophe, because this one has it too, so whatever. You would not do this for even such a friend as I? How heartless. I am wounded on Reimu, emotionally. I am a shrine maid who protects human. I am not concerned with the emotions of a of large and odorous uh, demons. At long last, the way to the Dragon Palace was open. Reimu was hurriedly, uh, uh, hurriedly made her way to the palace gates. But where are the gates? There wasn't enough time to draw the gate outward. User, <laughs> whatever. No matter then, I shall see the treasure that I desire. With this, I can buy all the rice I can eat. Framu, it is I, the dragon god of the palace. Powerful dragon god, okay. Who said that? I see nobody where I stand or behold. Well, there's no dragon sprite either. Oh, very well. Why is it that you bother me, dragon? Why do I bother you? It's not that I intrude here with selfish abandon. I know you, Shrymin. I see all that transpires within my domain. I saw you refuse help to the... Hey, I tried to fucking help, okay? I fucking tried. Blame the developers for being an asshole. Uh, I see, I saw you refuse help to turn out the beach, even though it was asked for earnestly. I saw you insult the poor Ningo, who had done nothing to deserve such treatment. I saw you ignore and belittle your friend because it was too bothersome for you. Know that these actions have consequences. An evil deed sends a ripple of, 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 uh, through the wave, a web of fate, and... Stop, don't touch that! Why shouldn't I? I came to this place to collect treasure, not to listen to a lecture from an invisible dragon. I'm, I'm, I am not supposed to be invi invisible, and I'm supposed to be stealing all of your magical artifacts. But this is reality. I still have the power. I still have the power to stop you. Go on then. I will be stopping you, but I'll give you a chance to apologize for your misdeeds first. Ugh. Please stop. No. Ineffective <laughs> dragon guy without physical form. There's supposed to be a more lesson at this part. At this part, oh, oh, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to say here. Just roll the ending. And so the imporial and impotent dragon god could do nothing as the palace was ransacked. Ibiki Suiko, who had been pretending to be the Umibuzu to scare passerby, didn't remember much of the night. But she was pleased to later find the shrine was well stocked with expensive sake. The Ningo, who which was just walking Sakahime in a fish costume, had taken a hit to her self-esteem. Luckily, Kagoro was uh, able to cheer up again. You don't look like a hideous monster, and, and heartfelt words to that effect. 
Yaichi, the dragon turtle, who had just been playing around, she could fly, so she had no trouble getting herself the right way up again. Since she was friends with the dragon god of the palace, she helped to clean up the mess Raymond had left. And finally, our hero, the greedy and cruel shrine maid, had learned nothing and acquired an inordinate quantity of extremely valuable stuff from the dragon palace. She threw an extravagant party at the Haku Shrine and everyone had a great time. It was, it really was fabulous. The end. Thanks for playing. Play up. Yeah, that, that honestly sounds like about a lot like Raymond. There's no doubt about that. I could sit here and do exactly the entire thing. Easy. But yeah, that's it for the tale. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Raymond being an asshole, doing what she does best. So let's see. Yeah, let's get to the next one, shall we? Yeah.